Hi, I got back from the art store um, yesterday and I am now going to swatch out these these uh, new watercolors and these new ah! inks. Uh, I already have um, most of the watercolors. This is what they look like so far. They're really rich. Um, they're really nice. It, it's almost like working with an ink. Um, so I now have all, all the set. I'm not sure if there's more or not. They're Italian. Um, at least that's what it says. It says Italian watercolor on the front. It's made by End Art. Um, yeah, it says made in Italy on it right there. I don't know if you can, can possibly see that. Um, they're real nice. Um, I don't know, you know, um, much about them or anything. I've never heard of them until I saw them. Um, now these inks, these inks are a national brand and I haven't really wanted to say where I live because I don't know why, I just don't. Um, I'm actually in Mexico. Uh, I'm very deep into Mexico. Anyway, um, I have two of these right here already of the inks. At first I wasn't really pleased with them, but then I, when I swatched it, I noticed that it's actually pretty nifty looking. I, I'm, I think, uh, I think these are going to be nice. So I'm going to give it a try. There's eight more colors that I do not have. Um, Anyway, uh, they're they're reasonable enough. They're about three dollars a bottle, uh, which is not you know very very high actually. Um, I'm gonna try out the the cyan one first. Wow, it's really really can go on thick if you want it to. Let's see if we water it down. Wow, it's really, really potent. Um, you can do lighter shades. So, as you can see, that's, that's pretty nifty. Um, let's see if we can put this back together without, I'm not real happy with the little bottles that they give, they're plastic. Um, they're supposed to be ecologically safe for the environment and all this. They have a, they have quite a um, write up and it's C-U-I-L-O-A, Quiola. And, um, so, you know, they're, they're sort of interesting to me anyway. Um, it will be interesting to see how they dry up and um, how, how it does. Uh, now I got my water dirty. I probably should change it, but certainly, certainly should not be dipping it into the, directly into there. Now this here is... Um, I wrote on it because I wanted to see if the white covers. And you know, as you know, oh, well, maybe you don't, but um, I need, I, I do need to wash my water. It's, I can see a tinge of blue. I mean, it's really, really got some power to it. The blue does anyway. Um, I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, so as long as I um, keep my water clean, I can directly dip into it, and that's what I'm going to do. I really want to see if there's any covering power. Let's 
that in itself could be useful since it just could be. It could be for covering up something you didn't like or, you know, different things. Coco, what are you doing? Coco found a box. She's going to eat it. Give it to me now. <laughs> Oh man, the life that you lead when you own a little dog. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to the yellow. Um, these colors are just really, you know, strong. They're... Uh, probably would be really nice mixed with something else. Um, I wonder how that would work out. Oh yeah, and also um, these are supposed to be, um, I have a little piece of paper right here. That would be interesting to do. I, um, oops, well, I can do it this way. These are made out of the pure pigments, from what I understand. And uh, that's what it says anyway. Um, These are the colors I already have. As you can see, they also have the pigments listed. These are so reasonable, you know. Ooh. I'm just gonna grab a little tiny bit of blue. Get that. That's pretty nice. Let's mix in the yellow with the blue. It made a nice green. So yes, they can be mixed. Um, you could use a little, you know, tray for them. I don't know if they will stain the trays. Um, I have. One of these types of trays, I have more than one, I have a few actually. And uh, this type of bowl too is also, can be useful. Um, I usually like to use porcelain, old uh, white plates, things like that. So, but yeah, it made a nice green. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Some of these have balls in them and some don't. So, you gotta mix them up pretty good. This seems to be the same color as the, the cyan one. Um, just more water down, I think. It has some bubbles in it since I was shaking it. Um, let's see. Well, that's that one. So I, I can't say that I'm real pleased with that one at the moment. Okay. Now we'll try the green. Oh yeah, the green is nice. Very nice actually. And I leave a little extra there on the surface just to see how it does. That would be probably a nice test. Um, I have Doc Martin um, inks. I don't know if these are 
acrylic inks or if they're just ink inks or I don't know if that's such thing as an ink ink but you know what I mean I think and this one's blood red supposedly and yes indeed it is I wanted to buy red uh, they didn't have any at the moment um, if you guys watch my video from my visit to the art store, this is where I buy these at. Um, oops, a bug. I'm in my bedroom, people, so this is my only quiet spot. Um, this is where my little desk is and where all my, my art supplies is. Who's that, Coco? And this is supposed to be sepia. It looks like a brown to me. I'm used to sepia being more of like a grayish color. Oh, it's nice. It's actually. And then so now I'm on to the the last one, which is purple, morado. So these could be mixed to create so many more colors. Um, the other two colors I have is carnation and rosa mexicana, pink, a Mexican pink. This uh, purple is very, very deep. See if we can well, there we go, we can get some lighter. But yeah, it's just almost black. Okay, so that was those. So that is uh, the purple. This is the sepia, which is brown. Sanguinea, which is blood red. This is uh, verde hoja, uh, green leaf or leaf green. This is Cerelio, Cerulean Blue. Amarillo, which is yellow, obviously. Uh, cyan, which we all know is cyan. And Blanco, which is white. They also have metallic versions. I also bought... Um, a little jar of metallic uh, powder. It's a it says pure pigments for artists. Gold powder, dark. Um, so you can use it with water and all kinds of things. Um, it's pretty interesting, as you can see. I wonder, just for fun's sake, uh, let's put a little bit on the edge here, see what happens. Oh yeah. That's, that's pretty, actually pretty nice. I don't know if you can see the gold uh, right there. So uh, if you manage this well, uh, 
I don't want to get it dirty with, a, with any paint or anything, but there we go. I wonder how uh, how well it would uh, attach itself, you know. We'll have to see once it's dry. I'll have to see with my finger. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, they had quite a few little bottles of it. It's not cheap. Um, I think this was about $8. But um, there it is. And uh, to me, this seems very uh, interesting. Especially, uh, you could use it with watercolors and lots of other things. Okay, so now we will go on to the Italian watercolors. Oops, oops, oops. No, 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 no. There we go. I'm getting it all over me, of course. What's new? I am going to these guys a little bit this is my little blue the blue with the yellow and the white uh, does provide some coverage it's not you know wonderful or anything but it does and I will be right back because I need to change my water again so I'm sorry guys okay so uh, I think this time I will start from light to dark just to make it easier on myself. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my silly little dog. She's cute. She found her bone, so she's happy now. Okay. Can I come underneath me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's going to make a racket now. This is the usual. Anyway, um, these little inks, not inks, these are watercolors. These are Italian watercolors. Um, they're really, I, I think they're really lovely. Um, as you can see, the yellow is really nice. The yellow is uh, really s similar to the ink, um, but it seems so much brighter to me. Uh, there's, there's a cleanness about it. Um, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but they're, they're very similar, but this is like way more transparent to me so I think that's where we're going to um, I just like that transparency oops this thing is still putting out a little bit of yeah there we go it's much better um, I think it's just more transparent so and these are the the colors that I have already and as you can see they're they're really very vivid uh, really lovely the red is just awesome um, the, the browns are really nice um, this brown from this is pretty nice too it's uh, similar to this one there's not a huge difference between the sepia and, and this brown here I don't remember the name offhand but we'll see so now I'm going to do the um, the green lemon. And these are the Italian watercolors, so. It's a real nice green. I haven't put much ink on it, uh, ink, watercolor. But I think it's enough for anybody to get the idea. Let me 
go put a little drop more just to intensify it right there a little bit. And so we'll just leave it like that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now this is just plain green. If anybody else has these uh, end arts, it's it's. Uh, let me know, or if you've heard of them. Uh, I don't know, you know, how high quality they are or anything, and and I do. Uh, it does matter to me. Um, oh, this is just lovely, lovely, lovely. It's very nice. Lovely color of green. Very deep. So now we're going to do the brown, dark brown is what it says. And it is indeed dark brown. Yeah, it's a real deep brown, real nice. Much darker than the the ink one that national our national brand of ink. <laughs> and so now we're gonna go on to black. I'm not gonna put as much on here because um, we'll see if it, we can gray it out. Maybe I don't think so, but we'll see. Just that tiny bit made it completely black. Oh, there we go. So, yes, we can gray it out a little bit. I thought we might be able to, but I wasn't sure. Um, but anyway, uh, there's my my five. Uh, there were my five missing watercolors from that group. Um, as you all know, I, I have watercolors. I like uh, the Daniel Smith. I like the Sminky, and I just love Holbein. I really want to get more Holbein. Um, but these are very reasonable. They'll be really good practicing uh, watercolors, I think. Uh, putting a drop here or there, and Using a fine brush um, would be really good with it too, especially this green. This green would make wonderful uh, foliage. Um, the black is really nice actually. And uh, the brown, I don't know if I can. There we go, got a little bit of a lighter color there. Same thing goes for the green. Yeah. So, you know, the, being these are watercolors, they're, they actually seem to be rewetting a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they really seem to be. Of course, they haven't had a lot of time to dry, but interesting anyway. 
I wonder if any of these would rewire. Let's see. Let's try. Oh, this, one's, this is the first one we did, the blue, I believe. Oh, it was the yellow. But it's close to being dry, I think. No, see, we're not getting any anything going there at all. Well, yeah, this is actually very permanent stuff. So it's interesting. So please let me know what you think. Um, I think uh, they're all uh, pretty nice. I think that um, they could be useful for different things. And I think also this, uh, this gold powder is really interesting. There's a light gold. There is a silver colored one. And um, and we'll see if I can get some of the other ones, but this was very interesting to me. And I think uh, there could be some really good uses for it, actually. Anyway, uh, I hope you all have a lovely evening. And thank you for joining me on my journey. Have a lovely evening. Good night.